comes to choosing where to live, where to move, especially if you're relocating here from another part of the country, you know, it can be overwhelming. And where do you live? Are you comfortable living there? I'm really excited to bring to you today one of the top neighborhoods, not just in Scottsdale, not just in Arizona, but really the entire Southwest, if not one of the top master plan communities in the entire country, and that is McCormick Ranch. Welcome back to the channel. It's Rich Brecklin, your Arizona real estate agent. Like I said, we are talking about one of the most desired communities to move to and live in, and that is McCormick Ranch. Now, if you are a return viewer, thank you for continuing to support the channel, watch the content I put out. If you are new, welcome to the channel. And if you're looking to move here, please reach out. My contact info is below. But first, let's get into McCormick Ranch and why it is so popular and why it has the draw that it does when there's so many options to move to and live in in Phoenix Metro. First, you know, there's a little bit of history with McCormick Ranch and how it came, you know, developed and to what it is today. And we're not gonna get into that because honestly, uh, you probably don't want to. If you wanna see that, let me know. I'll send you some great literature on it and you can learn all about it. Uh, but really, it started developing to what it is today back in the 70s. So the homes that you're looking at in McCormick Ranch, they are going to be older. Now, do not confuse older with, you know, run down, not up to date. Um, I'm sure there are some of those, but a lot of people continue to invest and reinvest into McCormick Ranch. So the homes that I have seen inside McCormick Ranch, they're gorgeous. You know, even the older ones, they're up to date, they're up kept, they're in really good condition. Now I'm sure there's some outliers, but with people continuing to buy homes and then put money into these homes and make them, you know, their own and continue to live here. When you have so many options, I mean, the valley is huge, but you have so many people choosing to live in McCormick Ranch. I think one of the main reasons is the location. So when you think Central Scottsdale, McCormick Ranch is that. So the location of McCormick Ranch makes it a great fit. I know for me and my family, it would be great for us just with so much to do. Again, McCormick Ranch is a pretty large area. I'm gonna throw that map up right there. So you can see it covers quite a bit of space. Over 4,000 acres make up McCormick Ranch. Now, depending on you know, your lifestyle or what it is that you do, or if you're still working, you have to commute, the good thing is, it is very easy to jump on the 101, get to where you need to go, and you know you don't have to worry about you know a longer commute than normal, uh, depending on where you're living. And in this video, I'm going to talk about you know the amenities, the schools, the homes, uh, everything there is to do. Again, what makes McCormick Ranch so great inside it, and what else is close, you know, nearby to McCormick Ranch that you may also love to enjoy. Now, myself, a Midwest guy who moved here, we lived on a lake. And a lot of people, when you think Arizona, you don't think, you know, you don't think water. Everyone jokes, you know, Arizona is running out of water and maybe that's true. Maybe it's just a uh, hype. However, we are in the desert, but in McCormick Ranch, you have plenty of lakes to choose from. Even if you're looking for that lakefront home, you want to be in Scottsdale, you want to live in McCormick Ranch, well, you have it here. You know, there's over seven lakes inside McCormick Ranch where you can go hang out, go bike, go walk around, go hike around, go live on. And to me, that is a huge plus. Uh, you know, when I was out there just last weekend, you know, plenty of people lined up fishing. I mean, right now the weather is beautiful here. And like I said, when people are out walking and hiking around, there are over 25 miles of walking and hiking and biking paths inside around McCormick Ranch. So to me, that's a huge, you know, again, connection piece of McCormick Ranch are those trails, are those, those paths. You can get to where you need to go, get your exercise in, and not have to deal with the traffic because you have those paths and you have you know the green belt stretching you know throughout McCormick Ranch. To me, that is a huge plus when you think the desert again. You don't think you know green belt. And to me, that <laughs> was a phrase I had to get used to saying. I'm like, you mean grass? But yes. So think patches of grass. That is considered you know the green belt here. Now, if you are like me, you have kids. Well, maybe you don't, but we have kids. So. Where we move to, where we live in, schools are important. Now, I said before, Arizona gets a bad rap with some of the schools. Um, you know, we're in Gilbert, great school district, and McCormick Ranch in Scottsdale, a top school district. So I think it's the top 5% 
in the state from you know Chaparral High School to Cochise Elementary. Now, if you head over to greatschools.org, look at Cochise Elementary. You know, it is a nine out of 10, 10 out of 10 on test scores, eight out of 10 on academic progress. So if you live in McCormick Ranch, you have kids who are going to school, you can at least rest assured that they're going to get a good education from elementary school through high school. If your kids are like my kids, they love to go to the park. Well, living in McCormick Ranch, you have tons of parks inside McCormick Ranch and near McCormick Ranch, like the McCormick Stillman Train Park. Go there, take a ride in the train, have a picnic, but a lot of options when it comes to parks. And there's so many different neighborhoods in McCormick Ranch. You know, over 60 different neighborhoods in McCormick Ranch. You know, each may offer something a little bit different from the style of home, the location for sure, and the HOA. You know, you can get HOAs inside McCormick Ranch for as low as $19 a month. So $19 a month, I know a lot of people with the HOA, they don't wanna spend a lot of money and some of these HOAs are ridiculous, but you can get low cost HOA inside McCormick Ranch, which I think is a huge plus. If you're looking to get outdoors and go do your own thing, maybe you don't want to walk on the, the pass and you know, we want something a little more challenging. The good thing is you are close enough to you know, some of the mountain ranges, some of the hiking trails. Uh, Camelback isn't too far. You can definitely see it from McCormick Ranch. So a great location from getting, for getting to the mountains as well, if that's something that you know, is important to you. I'm not a big golfer, but a lot of my clients are. A lot of people who move and live here, obviously, Big golfers, golfing is important. There's tons of courses. Well, there are two 18-hole championship golf courses in McCormick Ranch, and within 10 miles of McCormick Ranch, you can find 45 different courses. So if you are looking to golf every day, rest assured, living in McCormick Ranch, you will not run out of golf courses to choose from. Inside McCormick Ranch, it's almost like it is its own sustaining city. You would really never have to leave. There's tons of restaurant shopping, you know, things to do inside McCormick Ranch, but there's also some attractions nearby from the butterfly exhibit to, you know, Odyssey Aquarium. Odyssey Aquarium, to me, it's a really great spot to go, especially in the summer when it's, you know, too hot, the kids don't wanna do anything outside. But if you're going to go more than twice in a year, it does make sense to get the year pass and, you know, some different perks that come along with that. Also, Salt River Fields is around two miles from McCormick Ranch. So Salt River Fields, home to the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Colorado Rockies for the Cactus League for spring training. So spring training, definitely worth checking out, even if you're never moving here, thinking about just visiting, but check out spring training in the Cactus League. There's several different parks around, but Salt River Field at Talking Stick is, you know, two miles from uh, McCormick Ranch. And they have more than just, you know, spring training. They have different events, different games. I know Savannah Bananas, uh, they're going on their world tour and they are making a stop there this spring. But definitely, again, a perk of living in McCormick Ranch are some of the things that are happening outside of McCormick Ranch and near to it. Now, when it comes to you know, your home prices in Scottsdale and McCormick Ranch, you are going to pay more to live in Scottsdale and McCormick Ranch than you would other parts of the valley. Scottsdale, for example, your average is you know, a little over a million and median just under 1 million. Now in McCormick Ranch, your average is going to be around 1.2, 1.4, give or take. Uh, we are seeing some downward trends, but you know, plan on spending more than a million typically if you're looking to make your home in McCormick Ranch. The good thing is if you do buy a McCormick Ranch, you get you know, all of the bonuses, all of the amenities, all of the perks that come along with living inside McCormick Ranch, and chances are you're going to get a beautiful home. Now, if you would like your own list of homes available today in McCormick Ranch, send me an email. My contact info is below, and I will send you that list so you know exactly when new homes are popping up in McCormick Ranch, so you can jump on it and take a look, see if that's something you want to move on. Again, if you're looking to move here, not just McCormick Ranch or Scottsdale, anywhere in Arizona, please let me know we would love to take care of you and I look forward to hearing from you. Watch this next video and I'll see you later.